Hey viewers, welcome back to We Code No Code. Want to turn any website or web app into an Android app in minutes without writing a single line of code? Sounds crazy, right? But here's the thing. If you can build a website, you already know how to build an app. No Android Studio, no complex setup, just a simple tool that wraps your website into a real Android app. In today's video, we're going to build a WebView-based Android quiz app using Google AI Studio, GitHub, and Netlify. We'll create a fun countries and flags quiz game, turn that into a real Android app, and generate installable APK and AAB files, all without writing a single line of code. Even if you're a complete beginner, this workflow is super easy to follow. At the end, I'll show you the tool that converts your website or web app into a real Android app in just a few clicks. By the end of this video, you'll have a real app you can install, test, or even publish. So I gave a prompt to Google AI Studio to create a mobile quiz game based on countries and flags. The game shows a country's flag and asks players questions like the country name, capital city, or currency, with multiple choice answers. It also includes a search or learn mode where users can browse all countries along with their flags, capitals, and currency details. This prompt helps generate the full quiz experience that we'll use as the foundation for the app. We're not going to concentrate too much on the features and functionality of the app, since the goal of this video is simple, to turn any website or web app into an Android app. Google AI Studio has generated the first version of our app and will quickly view it in full screen. Here, I'll click randomly on icons and buttons so you can see that it's functioning pretty well for the first build. Of course, it's not fully functional yet. To make it fully functional, you would need to provide follow-up prompts. We'll switch the device view to mobile and test it quickly to see how it performs on a smaller screen. Now, let's start the quiz. I'll go through a few questions, answering some correctly and intentionally getting a few wrong so you can see how it highlights the right and wrong options. You might also notice that the flags for some countries aren't fully accurate. Some are correct, while a few are missing or showing incorrectly. With all due respect, this is not intentional and is not meant to offend anyone. This happens because the AI is using stock images for the flags. If you're building something similar, you would need to replace them with genuine country flags to make it fully accurate. I've gone through multiple questions and noticed that the quiz doesn't end or show the final results, and it doesn't move to the next level either. Instead, it keeps going without displaying any results. But that's completely fine for a first build. The goal here is to demonstrate the workflow. Even in this early version, you can see the core functionality working. Questions load, multiple choice answers respond, and the interface works well in mobile view. The final polish, such as proper flags, results, or level progression, can all be added later with follow-up prompts or updates. This really shows the power of AI-generated web apps and how quickly a basic prototype can be turned into something that behaves like a real Android app. Now, we'll go back and update the prompt in Google AI Studio. This time, we'll add level 1 and level 2 to the quiz. The idea is that after five questions, the user should be able to move on to level 2. Or if they finish all questions in level 1, the results should be displayed. This simple update ensures the quiz has some progression and structure, instead of going on endlessly. Once we make this change, the app will start behaving more like a real game with levels and final results. With this updated prompt, Google AI Studio regenerates the application with a leveled progression system, adding clear structure and making the quiz feel more like a real game. Now we'll quickly test the application with the updated logic. Let's start the quiz and go through a few questions. As you can see, after answering five questions, the app now displays the final score and results. 
If you don't qualify to move forward on the next level, it shows a message encouraging you to keep practicing and retry level one. This confirms that the level progression and results system is working as expected. We'll quickly click through the other icons and buttons in the app to make sure everything is working fine. Now, the next step is to deploy our project to GitHub. Just click Save to GitHub. If you don't have GitHub account, you will have to sign up first and complete profile setup. This will quickly push all the updated project files to a GitHub repository so we can keep everything version controlled, organized, and ready for future updates or deployment. Enter the repository name and description, choose visibility to be public or private, and then create the GitHub repository. Google AI Studio will automatically package all the project files and push them into the repo for us. Once the repository is created, you can open it directly on GitHub to review the full project structure, make future edits, or collaborate with others if needed. Now for the next step, we'll head back to Google AI Studio. Here, we'll tell it that we want to deploy the app to Netlify. To make this work, Google AI Studio automatically prepares everything needed for deployment. It adds a netlify.toml configuration file to properly handle single-page application routing. It also updates the app logic, specifically the quiz component, to include the tap flag to view in full screen feature, which was previously available only in the learn mode. This ensures a consistent experience across the entire game. We'll quickly push the updated files to GitHub by clicking Save to GitHub so they can be deployed to Netlify. Then, we'll verify the changes on GitHub by checking the updated files. Now, the next step is to deploy our application to Netlify. But before that, if you found this helpful, like this video, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Just click on Import from Git to import your project, Netlify will ask for permission to verify your GitHub identity. This step ensures secure access to your repositories. Simply click on Authorize Netlify to continue. Netlify will ask you to choose a project name. This name will also be used to create your Netlify subdomain. Then click Deploy and Netlify will publish the app live. If your app uses an API, make sure it's configured in the environment variables will click the app URL to open it. And here you can see it's showing a blank screen. I'll copy the Netlify URL and head back to Google AI Studio. In the prompt, I'll mention that the app is deployed on Netlify but is showing a blank screen and then paste the URL. To fix the blank screen issue on Netlify, a few updates are needed to ensure the app loads correctly. Google AI Studio is now applying these updates to the application. Once the updated files are generated by Google AI Studio, we'll push these changes to GitHub so the latest version of the app can be deployed. After the changes are deployed, we'll verify everything on GitHub to confirm the updates are in place. As soon as the changes are committed, Netlify automatically detects the update and triggers a fresh deployment. We'll head over to Netlify and refresh the page to make sure the latest build is live. Now, let's click the live URL, and this time, everything loads perfectly. No blank screen, no errors. The app is working exactly as expected. Now comes our final step. You can use any web to app converter tool, and for this demo, we'll use App My Site to wrap our website into a real Android app. First, log in to App My Site and click Get Started to create an app. Choose the Web to App option, enter the app name, and paste the Netlify URL. Next, click Create App. You have options to customize the app by selecting the color scheme, app icon, splash screen, navigation style, and more. I'm skipping these options for now. Once that's done, you'll be able to see a live preview of your app. After that, head over to the dashboard and go to the download section. Here, you'll see options for both Android and iOS. Under the Android section, click Build App, and on the next page, click Build App again.
Within a few minutes, the build is completed and you'll see options to download the APK or AAB file. And just like that, your website becomes an installable Android app. APK is the directly installable file for testing or manual installs, while AAB is used for publishing on the Google Play Store. Under the Publish section, click Publish on Google Play Store, sign in to Google Play Console, upload your app file, and complete verification steps. Once approved, your Google AI Studio app goes live on the Play Store for users to download. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to We Code No Code and hit the bell icon so you never miss upcoming tutorials. I've got a lot more exciting AI and no code projects, tools, and demos coming your way. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep building, keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next one.